Hi, this is Nilanjan Ghosh from Informatica Global Customer Support and today we are going to see how to change the name of an existing node in Power Center 961 and 10.2. So today's agenda would be to um, take a backup of the existing node meta.xml uh, from the node. From admin console, create a new node with the name you want. Then we will be running the define gateway node command to change to new node name. This will create a new node meta.xml. And then we will be performing a Tomcat cleanup followed by restart of services. So sometimes you want to create a new domain and once you restore the backup, you want to change the node name. In these scenarios, you can use this set of steps to change your node name. So let's take a look at the admin console which we have. So I have an admin console where my node name is node ABCD. So what we'll do is we will go ahead and create a new node with the node name we want. Say node test and we'll click OK. Okay, so presently this particular node is disabled. So it says here that use the installation program to associate the node with the host name and port number. We already have an installation in place at that particular directory at that location. So what we will do is we'll just run the define gateway node. So before running the define gateway node, we will take a backup of the existing node meta.xml. This is a Windows box, so I can just go ahead and take a backup uh, in a Unix or a Linux se setting. Uh, you can use the CP command to take a back backup or a MB command. So BKP. So, so I already took a backup. So now what we will be doing is we will be going to the command prompt and run those commands. So we will be going to ISP bin directory. Before we go there, we will see config. Okay. So we already have the backup in place. So Okay. Now we will run the info setup dot bat define get up. So this will give us the options of what to exactly run. Okay. So it needs the DA, DU, DP, all these um, variables. So you, your my question might be that where do you get these variables? So you can basically go to the windows, click here, properties. You can get all the details from here. So what we'll do is I have the command ready. So define gateway node, um, the DA, which is TS Aura 12C1521, um, the database username, password. Then you have to give the KD the keys directory, which is um, ISP config keys, uh, the minimum and maximum port, um, log service directory, and then the resource file and um, the backup directory. So let's go ahead and run this. Before we run, uh, we will exactly name the node name as we want, the one which we got created which is node test let's double check on that 
so we created a new node called node test so the node name will be node test so before we run this we will actually need to shut down the services okay so we have the node name as node test which we mentioned in the admin console let's go ahead and run the command so what it basically does is the define gateway node creates a new node meta.xml let's take a look it it just got created so new node meta.xml got created now we will perform a tomcat cleanup so I'll do it from here we'll go to logs directory we can completely remove everything here then we will go to tomcat web apps we will only get rid of the directories and not the war files please remember don't get rid of the war files okay we'll go to tomcat temp we'll remove everything and let's double check on the logs yes we don't have any let's go ahead and restart the services now let's go ahead and check the node.log again okay the admin console was successful let's go ahead and check the admin console okay okay it's up and running now if we click on node ABCD it says disabled the node test is right now up and running so basically you can go ahead and delete this particular node if you don't need it so you can go ahead and delete and the services associated with this node will get disabled so you might need to go ahead and assign the services to node test instead of node ABCD so you can do it like this so node test okay and it will basically the services will get assigned to it so node ABCD is disabled, node test is up and running. So that is what we wanted. So similarly we can go ahead and do it for this particular service test. okay so you just need to recycle after assigning that particular node and this particular service is now available so it's still fetching the status okay now it's on node test the new node which we created you can go ahead and just delete this particular node Thanks for watching the video and we would love to hear from you. You can email us at supportvideos at informatica.com and this is our Twitter handle. Thank you.